Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian. On the last day, in fact, in the last minutes of the Association of the United States Army's annual conference and trade show, and as they're tearing the place down, we caught up with somebody we should have caught up earlier in the week with, Eric Garris, who is the chief technologist at Harris. Sir, thanks for talking to us, especially since you've got to get out of here soon. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, Talk to us a little bit about this, uh, uh, you know, what, you, what you've got here. Obviously, you know, connectivity is a big thing. Also, integrating the sight picture that the soldier is seeing with other command systems is also a key thing. Walk us through this, this uh, product and what applications it has, because I know this is for the international market, but you're trying to bring it to the U.S. market as well. Okay. So this is our integrated soldier system. It started with our Team MVG, which we developed focused on the international market, leveraging capabilities and technologies we had originally developed in the US. Um, we had some customers internationally that needed to have uh, better capabilities to provide situational awareness to both the soldier and to command. Uh, we have integrated that capability within what we, we have as the integrated soldier system. Um, we deal with the goggle, which we have providing thermal overlay or image intensification technology. Uh, an ability with an integrated camera to allow commanders to see live video imagery from the, the battlefield, an ability to provide an interface for soldiers to access two-dimensional information as well as augmented reality information from integrated sensors we have within the system. Um, and a core part of that for us as Harris is tying that back to the network through our secure radio comms. Sure. Um, you know, every, every soldier is concerned about weight. Obviously, a lot of these components are, are, are stuff that the, the soldier would carry. Is there sort of a weight estimate on this? Um, the key is, is it's going to depend on the configuration. It's leveraging parts that the soldier is already carrying, but the uh, goal of this is trying to minimize and consolidate that gear to meet each soldier's needs for a specific mission. Let me take you to the to the, the screen that you have adjacent to it, which is showing a little bit of the site picture. And in fact, if the camera can pick up, but Bob, our videographer, is actually reflected in the screen there from what uh, from from what the uh, oh, there it is. Okay, there was a, a slight latency there. Tell us a little bit about that picture and how the system works and what we're seeing in terms of symbology on the screen. So what we have is this is our Jaguar interface from our space and intelligence group. It was originally designed as uh, a content management solution for managing UAV video assets. It's used in Afghanistan and Iraq today. We have adapted to a uh, ground application to be able to enable the soldier as a sensor as well as a, an ability for them to be given mobility information to link the command uh, more capability-wise to the soldier in a network battlefield. How does this get into the U.S. inventory? Because obviously some of this technology is stuff the United States does want in its future force. There, there are pieces of this that are already in the inventory, and so there's a lot of maturity with a lot of the components. What we're doing is Harris is actually bringing back to what you said earlier, the connectivity of all of these systems. So AUSA has been a really good show for us. We've uh, had relationships and continuing to build those relationships and opportunities to bring this into um, the U.S. inventory to address uh, core capability needs. Eric, thanks very much. Best of luck on the product and best of luck getting home. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.